When I was asked by Teachers TV to teach a pair of maths masterclasses, I decided to tackle two topics that can be both tricky to teach and that students don't always see the wider point of. They're both topics that it's possible to have a lot of fun with and I'm hoping that's what this group of Year 10 students from three North London schools will think too. What's the probability that with one line of numbers, you get the six numbers and you are a winner? Okay, well, we'll look at working that out and we'll have a little think about it. We must remember your question too. What we're going to do is have one, two, three, you four, please, up here. Thank you very much. Okay, could the rest of you come all up to the front and get yourselves into a circle with your backs inwards? Six hands, six balls, fantastic. Okay, what we've got is the National Lottery here. All right, now then, we've got 49 balls inside that machine. Six of them are red and 40... Three are black, six of them are winners, 43 aren't winners. I want all six reds to come out, all of them, in a row, and then I've won the lottery. And I've got my picker in here, who is blindfolded, he can't see a thing. Now, I don't want you to help him, I just want him to scrabble about in the balls. In a moment or two, he'll be scrabbling about in the balls and throwing balls out at random. I wonder if he's going to get six in a row. Hey, hey, good luck! They'll need it. Let's start! Good try. I can see it. It's out. That's good. Oh. Ball three's coming out. Yeah, chuck it. Good. Ball four. Quick, 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 machine. Yeah, we're doing really well. Go, we're doing really well. Come on. Six reds, five. Brilliant, oh! Brilliant! We've done it! Do you want to know how many you got, Mikhail? Hi. None. <laughs> oh, never mind. Take your blindfold off, Mikhail. We've got six blacks. We don't know what numbers they are. We do know that they are six of the balls that we didn't want. So we've lost. We haven't got even one number. All right, we wanted six in a row. Is it going to happen? Yes. Is it going to happen? It could do. What's the probability? that we're going to get red, 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 and red. <laughs> Difficult, isn't it? It's the probability of winning the National Lottery. Let's have a look. Chuck those balls back at him. Go on. <laughs> Chuck him in. Right then. Ball collectors back on your stage. OK, this time, what I'd like you to do is stay in your circle and without releasing the balls, can you all turn around 180 degrees and actually face Mikhail? Let's go through a simulation, but this time we're going to do the winning simulation. Goodness me, what's the chance, OK, randomly, that the first ball coming out is actually red? <laughs> One over 49. But there's six of them, isn't there? There's six. Six, six out of 49. Six out of 49. Are you sure? The chance of getting the first ball is six out of 49. Good. OK. Right, second ball. What's the chance? Five out of 48. Five out of forty nine eight, eight. eight. Why? <laughs> okay, the number of reds is reduced, the total number of balls has been reduced. And so on. Third one. Tell you what, chuck it at them instead. There you go, Meg. Next probability, hang on a minute. Ball three, shout at me. Four four out of four seven. Seven. Okay, just a minute, just a minute. Four out of forty seven. I'm getting old, yeah, I can't keep up with you. Fourth ball is Three out of yeah, 46. Forty-six, excellent. There's only two left in there. <coughs> Chuck it. Two out of forty-five. 45. Last one. The last one to come out. There's only one red left. And how many are left in here? Forty-four. Four. 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 Excellent. Well done. Six out of six. Round of applause. <laughs> Imagine if that had happened. Eh? Well, here we have it. We have the probability here of winning the national lottery. It's easy. Okay. We multiply the numerators together and we multiply the denominators together. So it's easy. 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 49 times 48 times 47 times 46 times 45 times 44. Simplify that down. We do actually get a fraction. 1 over 13,983,816. Wow! 14 million to 1. That's amazing, isn't it, eh? Yeah. 
Yeah. Would you believe it? Do you think you'll ever win it? Maybe. Maybe. If you keep playing every week, you might win it. In fact, Yasmin, if you played it every week, do you know what? You would eventually win. Really? After about 269,000 years. So good luck. All the best. 269,000 years. I'll see you then and we can share your jackpot. Brilliant. Of course, you won't be winning it because you're not old enough to play yet. So, very interesting. So whichever line we put on, so that's six numbers chosen at random, whether it's a lucky dip or whether it's the numbers, I don't know, Mickey, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, has a probability of 14 million to one. 14 million to one chance that we're going to win the jackpot. So, shall we, Mickey, shall we put the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, or shall we put on, ooh, Alex, shall we put on a lucky dip? What do you think's better? What's got the best chance? Lucky dip or one, two, three, four, five, six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Pardon? One, two, three, four, five, six. You think it's more likely you're going to win with one, two, three, four, five, six? Who agrees with her? Oh, what do you think, Dahlia? Um, lucky dip. You think the lucky dip? Why? Uh, it's just like numbers at random. It's numbers at random. But one, two, three, four, five, six is any six numbers too. All right, they're in a bit of a pattern, but they're random numbers. I think they've got the same probability. You think they've got the same probability. What's that then? Just one out of 13,983,816. Okay. The probability that you win on any line of six numbers, whether it's nice consecutive numbers, whether it's a lucky dip, okay, whether it's my age, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, who knows? Okay. But we do know that the probability of winning the National Lottery is 14 million to one. However, coming back to your point, does it matter then? Is it better to do one, two, three, four, five, six? Or a lucky dip. Well, what do you think? What did you say earlier? Um, I said we didn't uh, rely on other people's it choice of numbers. Totally as well. rely. So if you were lucky enough to win the lottery, imagine it: five million pound jackpot. Okay. And Alex, yeah, you've put on a lucky dip, and you're the only winner. You've just won five million pounds. Round of applause. <laughs> okay. The week after, would you believe it? 14 million to one chance. Do you know what numbers came up the week after? One, two, three, four, five, six. You've just won the jackpot too. Five million pounds. Well done. Yay! And she can share it with 10,000 other winners. Because 10,000 people every week put on the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> so once it's all shared out, she's a lottery jackpot winner and you've just won 500 quid. OK, book yourself uh, for a week in Southampton, that'd be nice, yeah? Watch the seagulls, lovely. <laughs> now, let's play a game where you can win a car. Welcome to Probability, your chance to beat the odds. Now, here's your host, Johnny Healy. We're going to play a guessing game. Here's your guesser. Guess with my gold flower. What we've got, we've got three boxes. Inside one of the boxes is a car. <laughs> Inside the other two boxes, we've got Brussels sprouts. So go for it. Place your flower on the box you think the car's in. OK, take your time. OK. Are you happy with that choice? Yeah. OK. I can tell you that if you'd chosen this box, you would have won Sprouts! Yeah. yeah! What do you want to do? Do you want to stick with your first guess? Or would you like to swap? You've narrowed it down to two. What would you like to do? Stick. You want to stick? Why do you want to stick? Random Does it matter? Guess. Is it... Go on. Random guess. Random guess. You want to stick. You fancy sticking. OK, what would you do, Addo? Stick. You'd stick. Yeah, I thought you might, actually. What would you like to do, Alex? I'd swap. Would you swap? Why? I don't know. I like the other one. You like the other box? Yeah. Anyone else would like to swap? OK, why? Because you have a higher chance of winning a car if you swap. 
you have a higher chance of winning the car if you swap. But there's only two boxes, so surely it's either in this box or it's in that box. Put your hands up. Let's have a little vote. Who would like to stick? Go on, put your hand up if you really want to stick. Eleven stickers. OK, hands up for swap. That should be the other eight of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight swappers. Interesting, more people want to stick. Right, you said you wanted to stick. The audience want to agree with you, don't they? Yeah. So, are you going to stick? Yeah. OK, he's chosen to stick. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Your final, final answer. Do you think he's doing the right thing? Yeah! yeah. Is he going to win? Yes! OK, we can now reveal that the middle box that you chose to stick with is... Sprouts! Oh! Let's have a look at what you could have won. The car. Have a look at that. Touch it. Just for a moment or two, you haven't won it. OK! Unlucky, he could have won the car if only he'd swapped. Now we can start using maths, because your man's on the right tracks. There are two boxes there, but what you're saying really is that you don't think it's 50-50, do you? No. Okay, even though there's just two boxes? Yeah. You're saying that these aren't equally likely, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, now then, put your hand up if you said stick. Stick. All 11 of you thought that is the best option, and I can't blame you. There's two boxes left, okay? Two boxes now. It could be in either of these boxes, so you're thinking, well, it might be in that one or that one. 50-50, half, I'll stick with it. Brilliant. What about the swappers? Well, whether you guessed or not, swapping is the best strategy. Let's prove it. When he chooses the middle box, what's the probability that he's right on his first guess? One out of three. One out of three. Remember that, it's always going to be one out of three, yeah? I can't control which box he's going to choose. He could pick it, one out of three. What I can control is the other two boxes. OK. I know that I can get rid of one of these boxes. The probability that it's in this middle box is one third. The probability that it's in one of these two is what? Two in one of these two is two thirds. But I've effectively got rid of that and told you the answer that it's not in that. So it must be in that. The probability that it's in one of these two is two thirds, but it's not in that. What's the probability it's in this one? Two thirds. Two -thirds. Still two-thirds. It was either in this one or that one. I've told you it's not in this, so I've given you extra information without you realising it, OK? And now I've influenced the probability. It's counterintuitive, but believe it or not, some of you are still thinking, well, I think it's half. I think it's half. Who thinks it's half still? Mm, be honest, some of you are not convinced. When I first saw this problem, nor was I. And in fact, it's a very famous problem. Eminent mathematicians, when this was first circulated, were actually writing papers saying it was all a load of rubbish, that this is all a fix. But if we played it 300 times, we'd win 200 times by swapping. Every time, we'd only lose 100. We can make the odds work for us. So that's the probability experiment. Unlucky this time, Mummy Nur, but well done. Give the man a round of applause. Well done. Yeah, take some sprouts. Go for it. So, that's what it's all about. Life is a game of chance. Life is a game of probability. But we've got to make the right choices. Let the maths work out the probabilities for us so that we can make the best chances. Maximise success. I'm Johnny Healy. Thank you very much. <laughs>